welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. Today I have a little homework haul for you guys. I went shopping to TJ Maxx this evening and just picked up a few bits and bobs and when I put the bag up on my Instagram stories, a lot of you seem to be interested. So I've decided to just film what I've got and show it to you guys. I also have some stuff that I got during Christmas in Ireland. So yeah, I put them all together and I'm gonna show you. I don't have loads. It's just kind of more random bits and bobs that I've been picking up more than anything. But hopefully some of you will be interested. Um, the, the apartment is still coming together. It's taking me ages because I just have not been able to give it like my full attention since we've come back after Christmas. But my mom is coming this week and she is like such a get shit done kind of woman. So I think she's gonna help me finish it. So I think by the time she leaves, we'll definitely have the place ready to go and finished. Um, so yeah, enough rambling now, let's get into the haul. Okay, getting straight into the first item I'm gonna talk about, and it is this cushion. I got this in TK, TK Max, sorry, there's TK Max in Ireland and TJ Max in America, so sorry if I confuse them at any time. I'll try my best to differentiate them as much as possible, but it's the same thing anyway. I don't know why one is called TJ and one is called TK, uh, but anyway, it's all the same shop. But this one is from TK Max in Kerry in Ireland. I got it in the Killarney one, sorry now there's a bit of fluff on it. It has that like velvet texture, it's hard to see now probably on camera, but this is velvet, this black part, so fluff kind of sticks to it. But I absolutely love this. The minute I saw it, I just knew I have to have it, even though I was like, am I really gonna be able to put that into my case? But I did anyway. Um, the reason I got it is because I want to introduce some black into my bedroom. Right now it's mostly white and gold and I have kind of like a, a beige throw on the bed but I want to introduce more black. I just think it would make the room look a little bit more chic and kind of take away the feminine edge as much because I suppose it is David's room as well. And I always kind of like a black and white room. My room in the Kerry is black and white so yeah. I started off by introducing this and I'm definitely going to try and get a few more like black cushions as well and we'll see how it goes but I just love the stripes on this and I think it's really really chic. I've taken the price off now but I think it was less than 20 euro so I think that's pretty good and it seems like really good quality as well. While we're on the stripe front, I'll get into the second thing I've got. This is something I got this evening in TJ Maxx and it's this stripey candle and I purely got it to match the cushion. I wanted to put it on the locker, one of our lockers next to the bed and this was such a bargain as well. It was $7.99 and it's by a brand called Elements. I've actually never heard of them before but it seems quite nice. It smells pretty decent, even though to be honest, I did just buy it for the stripes, but I will burn it as well. I love candles and I love having loads in the house and being able to burn them. But yeah, I just thought this would look lovely next to the bed and match the cushion and another way to introduce some black into the bedroom. The next thing I'm gonna show you is this little plant that I got in Pennies. Um, I got this as well while I was home. I actually saw this in Pennies and I was just running out the door at the time and I'd already paid for everything. So I ended up sending David in to get it because I couldn't stop thinking about it when I went home that evening. I got this for the bathroom. I think it'd be so fab in there, just up on the sink and I just love the marble and the plant and you don't have to water it so it's a win-win. I'm not sure how big it looks now on the camera but it actually is quite small if you can see it in relation to my hand. It's more of like a big succulent rather than like a small plant. It just adds a little bit of life to the apartment. I'm actually going to try and get some more plants this weekend because I just think it needs them. It feels a little bit dead at the moment. It just needs a bit of kind of life to be brought into the place. So yeah, these are a good way to do that I think. And this was only I think like two or three euro um, in pennies and I got it in the Killarney one. Keeping on the big plant front, I also saw these ones in pennies and I could not help but pick them up. I think these would be really cute in our bedroom and maybe one in the sitting room, I'll see. Um, but yeah, I just thought they were so cute. They're a bit smaller than the other one if you can see in relation to my hand again. But I think these were only like 150 or something crazy like that. So yeah, I got two of them and I got two of them. So we'll find homes for them around the place. The next thing I want to show you is another cushion. It's actually one I got this evening in TJ Maxx. And um, this was, I think it was $17. I think it's hard to sell out actually. Yeah, it was $16.99, which I thought was really good. And I'm keeping this for the couch. I actually have a good few cushions already that don't have covers on them. So I need to get more covers, but I definitely needed more of these kind of white fluffy ones. And um, I feel like you'll always find a home for these, whether on your bed or your couch. So yeah, I got this one for the couch because it's quite big. There's not much more to say about it, but it matches the rug and things like that. So I think that'll be nice. And it's nice up against the gray. So I'm delighted with that one. Next is something my mom actually got me for Christmas. And it's these fake flowers with this little vase. I think this is really cute. It'll be nice in our kitchen, I think. Um, just I, These little things make such a difference in a home. I think she got it in Duns. And I think it was like less than a tenner. So that's really good. And yeah, as I said, they just make a home more 
homely. <laughs> you could definitely make this yourself as well. You can buy these um, fake flowers in places like Guyanese or on Amazon and I'm pretty sure you can get these vases very easily as well. So yeah, just a nice little thing to add into your apartment or your house if you feel like it just needs a bit of life. So yeah, I was delighted with that. Good present, mom. <laughs> the next thing I'm gonna show you is very exciting. It's probably my favorite thing I bought while I was home in Ireland. And it is our curtains for our sitting room. Some of you might have seen them already. Um, I don't know if I showed them on Snapchat, I think I did. Um, or else they were in the background of my last video but I haven't really shown them properly yet. We only hung them last weekend. I made David take one down so that I could show you on this video. But they're these lovely velvet, like crushed velvet gold curtains. And I was on the lookout for these for so long. I actually found a pair on West Elm, which is an interior shop over here in the US. It is absolutely stunning. The things they have in that store just blow my mind. Every time I go in there, I just want everything. But it is quite expensive, like, I had found a pair quite similar to these. They were more of a kind of grey undertone rather than this kind of warmer tone. But I had my heart set in them and I was actually going to get them. But I think they were like $90 a panel. So like that's only one side of the window for instance. So I would have had to buy four panels and it would have came to nearly $400. Which obviously is just a bit mad for curtains. Especially when we have so many other bits to buy. I just thought that it was a bit crazy and... I was kind of very on the fence about getting them so I had my eye out for maybe a similar pair or you know something kind of like them that was a bit cheaper so when I came across these while I was home I was so happy we ended up going to Guyanese one day it was actually the day after we went out in Dingle it was like the 2nd of January and I was like cursing my mom for bringing us I was like, mom, do we really have to go home? We're shopping today. But I'm so glad we did now because that's the day we found these. And yeah, these were only 75 for a pair. So all together it was 150, which is not bad for curtains. And they're really, really good quality. I think they're 60 by 90. Um, so they are a tiny bit short for our windows. I was looking for 96 inches but I couldn't leave these after me. 90 was the longest they came in, so I just said, look, they'll do, um, we'll get used to them. And yeah, I just, I'm so happy with them. As I said, we hung them the other day and they're perfect for the room. I just think they add a lovely bit of warmth against the gray couch and I'm gonna try and get some cushions to match. I've had my eye out everywhere, but it's really hard to find the exact color in a cushion. Um, I found a lot of similar ones, but I'm gonna have another look this weekend now and hopefully just get something. I'll try and get something close to it anyway. And yeah, I just think that the cushions and the curtains together would bring a bit of life to the room and yeah I'm just a sucker for velvet and for gold so I'm just so happy with these and I feel like the room is really coming together now. Next is another little present that my mom got me for Christmas as well for the apartment that I said show you and it's this little candle holder. I'm not sure where she got this actually I forgot to ask her but it's just cute as well. I think it'll be nice in our bedroom. Um, again, I love candles and I used to have one of these in my bedroom in Ireland. Um, one that you'd put a tea light into. And yeah, they're just little cute things. I'm gonna put this maybe on the windowsill with some flowers next to it or something like that. And yeah, she said it wasn't very expensive. These were kind of in our stockings, um, a bunch of little bits and bobs for the apartment each of us. So yeah, <laughs> you know you're getting old when your mom starts buying you things for your apartment. But yeah, I'm delighted with this too. Um, all these little things help, again, to just make a place feel more homely. The next thing I'm gonna show you is a little bit boring, I'm not gonna lie, but I did buy it for the home, so hey, I'm gonna show you anyway. And it is this cereal container. These in Ireland, I got three of them actually. You're gonna laugh, like I literally was stuffing things into the case coming back. But yeah, the reason I got them is because they were so cheap, I couldn't leave them behind. I got them the same day I got the curtains in Guyanese and they were only three euro each which I just thought was mental altogether. So yeah, as I said, could not leave them behind because if you were to buy these in America, like for instance, you could get these in the container store, which is a pretty popular shop over here. They would cost you like at least $20 each. We learned that the hard way last year when we were moving into our apartment, me and Erica together. So I promised I would try and get them in Ireland if I saw them. And yeah, I got three of them, as I said. I must still get a few other bits um, for like pasta and rice and things like that. But, but yeah, I want the presses to be really organized and kind of have everything in its place. So this was a good start. And yeah, I'm delighted with them now. <laughs> they were worth stuffing the cases. 
thing I picked up this evening in TJ Maxx were hangers. I got these lovely black velvet ones. I always use these. I find them really good because the clothes won't fall off them because of the velvet. And yeah, I needed new ones after coming back from Christmas. I still have a little bag of clothes that are still not hung up two weeks later, I know. But yeah, I've been meaning to get them for the last few weeks. So I'm glad I got them now. And yeah, these were actually quite good value as well. Usually I buy them off Amazon because they're very good value on Amazon. But these weren't too bad, they were 20 for 9 99 um, which is a little bit expensive for hangers, but I was kind of just desperate to get them. As I said, they are better value on Amazon. Anyway, I love these ones, so I think they're worth it. And yeah, if you're in the search for new hangers, I definitely recommend these. And the last thing I'm going to be showing you in today's haul is probably another one of my favourite things I got. It's actually funny because I have one of these in my bedroom in Ireland as well, and so many people ask me about it whenever I show it, and it is this fluffy blanket from Penny's. I sleep on this at night time so I put it on my bed say where people would put sheets. Well, some people probably think that's mad or you'd like be so hot but it is actually divine guys. I wish that I could like allow you to feel this on YouTube. It is the most softest nicest blanket ever and yeah I got this in Penny's and I think it was only like 20 euro or something like that maybe maybe even less and yeah Honestly, if you don't have one of these, get one. I really wish it came in white because I'd love it for my couch. I am, I'm still on the hunt for a throw for my couch. I have my eye on this one. It's a kind of knitted one and I saw it actually in TJ Maxx this evening, but I'm finding it hard to get it in white. Um, it comes in like a cream color and a pink color, but I really want a white one for the couch. So yeah, I'm gonna keep looking, but anyway, this blanket is so divine and you should get one and sleep on it. And I bet you, you'll love it too. And guys, that's absolutely everything. I think I showed you everything anyway. I'm probably gonna think of something else as well because I did pick up loads of random bits while I was home. But as I said, it is a short haul. Um, I will be getting loads of other stuff over the next few weeks that I'll definitely do more hauls with. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of keep you updated on the whole apartment situation. As I said in a few videos ago, I probably won't be doing the full apartment tour until February-ish, like the end of February. Um, but in the meantime, I will keep you updated on anything new that's going on. I'm always sharing bits and pieces over on my Snapchat and Instagram stories. So feel free to follow me over on those. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did. And subscribe as well for more. Have a great weekend and I will see you in my next video. Bye.